Anybody out there want to rip my face off? You know, like in face off. Holy sh! What's going on everybody? I am Mr. Fred and welcome to the very first episode of our month of horror. Oh my god, this music's getting really freaking loud. Hang on, let's turn this down a little bit. I've already got it way down. Way down, but I guess we'll just turn it down to like four. There, let's try that. Okay, okay, sounds good. Okay, so Anyways, welcome to the very first episode of our month of horror. All of October, I'm going to be playing horror games. They may not be good. They may not be good horror games, but if it has the horror tag on it, I'm going to play it. So, that's going to be awesome. Why is the music getting louder? Oh my god, it's... I can't focus on this intro. Anyways, we're going to play Colat. It's our first game. I think that's how you say it. Colat? Uh, call it? Uh, cola? Coca-Cola. We're playing Coca-Cola today. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I like the really creepy dude right back here in the background. I can just imagine, you know, this really big, creepy looking guy, and he's got this, uh, this voice. I just got this voice in my head. Hey! Welcome to the game! Hey! Let's play. You ready? Okay, let's play. See, that's the voice that I had in my head. You know, really creepy? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Anyways! Let's just jump into this and go have some fun and maybe get scared, shall we? Okay. 56 years ago, Russia, the northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Otorten Mountain. Their journey seemed to progress according to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. It was their last stop. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. It took the spring thaw two months later to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation arose from these puzzling events. Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche, or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. Is that where I come in? Is that what I'm doing? It is! Act 1. Alright, well that's loud. Oh dear lord, that's really loud, okay. Okay, so... What am I supposed to do? You know what, that's really freaking loud. Uh... Hang on. Holy crap! That was loud, okay. Uh... Yep, master volume, let's turn you down about... Yeah. 
Oh, that's much better. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Yes! Okay, this way, I think. Or do I go this way? Or do I go on the train? I'm gonna go on the train. Hello? No. Can I jump? No, nope, can't jump. Okay. I can go this way. Uh, let's go in the door. Door. Alright, can't go in the door. Nope, don't want to go in there anyways. Uh, do I go this way? There's a pole. Hello, pole. Nice to meet ya, pole. Okay, continuing on. Uh, hello, bench. Shall I, shall I have a seat? I shall have a seat. Take a seat. Uh, oops. Ah, uh, beautiful day for a sit, don't you think? Just a beautiful day for a sit. All right, let's continue on, shall we? Hello. Anybody here? Hello. 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 All right. Hello. Nothing? Okay. This game is beautiful. I will say that. This game looks amazing. <gasps> I'm leaving footprints. Awesome. Very good attention to detail. See, I like that in games. Attention to detail is important. Can I go in the back door? Nah, I can't go in there. All right, some weird benches. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna follow the path. The path that's laid out in front of me. Let's do that. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna follow the path. Because I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. So, am I supposed to go this way? Wow, I'm gonna follow the railroad track. Oh my, I'm on the railroad tracks. All right, I'm making my own path, even though this is the path that was already here. Yeah, going deeper in the woods, the frozen woods. Let it go, let it go. I can't sing. That's the best that I'm gonna be able to do, so. Let it go, let it go. Maybe that's better, yeah, that's better. Oh, look, another path. Which one looks safer? That way, towards the railroad tracks, or this way, towards the trees that are oddly uh, angled. You know what, I'm going this way towards the trees that are oddly... Well, okay then. Are you coming to me? No. Maybe I am. Screw it. I'm coming. Uh, flashlight. I can't turn on my flashlight yet. Got it. Got it. This is creepy. This is very, very creepy. I don't like it. Oh, look. A cave. Alright. Everything is... Everything is awesome. Holy... Did I die? Did I die already? Don't tell me I died already. The, end, the only thing I saw was a flash. An insufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. I died already. I went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. I welcomed the end with delight. Okay. So I'm dead. Oh, I can still move. All right. Going towards the light. Let's just go towards the light. Even though I can't see a damn thing. Okay. Well, this is uh awesome. What? Uh press E. Okay. I pressed E. I am right behind you. No, you're not. There's nobody there. Okay. Compass is freaking out. All right. Well, Act Two. All right. Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity when others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will? 
now. When they told you that you were a monster that deserved punishment. Now. When you could really not remember your sins. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. The problem is that in their darkness, you have never been alone. Why is that? Uh, what's going on? Guys. Guys. Nice transition. That was beautiful. So apparently I live here now. Um, that's cool. So this is, this just got weird. Press F1 for survival info. Oh. Neat. Oh, this is neat. Oh, this is cool. Running left shift. Yeah, I, I looked at the controls already. Okay. I already looked at the controls, so I know how to run. I know how to turn on my flashlight. See, look, flashlight. Flashlight! I love having a flashlight. I want to know what that red thing is over there. Is that is that like a radio tower? I think that's a radio tower. Okay. This is so weird. So creepy. Hello! Anybody out there? Nice moon. Nice moon. I like it. Go further away from the radio tower? Yeah, I think that sounds good. Let's do that. Okay, turn the flashlight on. All right. This is kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. What was that? What is that? What is this? What is going on? Okay, I'm a little creeped out. All right. All right, if we could go ahead and stop with the creepy sounds and everything. Why is there so many paths to follow? And what is this? Oh, neat. Neat. Oh, God. Going down, I guess. Here we go. Okay. The ambience just makes this game so creepy right now. Okay. That's cool. You go ahead, make your noise, do what you're going to do. I'm going to I'm going to walk around and uh not die. Just not die. Let's go with that. Oh, look an arch. That looks Okay. Okay, it got darker. Okay, it's getting louder. I'm hearing a lot of... Oh, look, another stick in the ground. I'm gonna follow the sticks in the ground. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Holy crap. Hello? Anybody scary out here? Anybody trying to kill me, maybe? Anybody at all? Anybody out there want to rip my face off? You know, like in face off. Holy sh... Don't do that! That's not okay! Oh, holy... scared me okay guys well that's that's all I'm gonna do for this first episode we got a taste of what this game's all about it's very creepy um creepy also very creepy uh, but anyways this game's like oh my god this it's actually really scary uh, I didn't expect this I didn't know what to expect when I saw it but uh, yeah it's it's a pretty scary game so 
we're gonna continue with this. We're gonna have this be another series. We're gonna have this keep going for our month of horror. Um, but for now, we're done with this episode. So if you guys enjoyed this first episode, be sure like the video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.